Hey Capricorn, how you doing? I'm gonna be doing your reading here, general read, so just take what resonates and let's get what let's get into it here. Let's see what's going on, what messages do we have here for Capricorn? <clears throat> First card out is the Eight of Wands, Sagittarius Energy. Eight of Wands is about communication. It's also about fast changes as well. So let's see what's going on here. Two of Pentacles. We have the Hermit, Virgo Energy. Nine of Cups, Pisces Energy here. Center of your reading. The Ten of Cups. This could be involving a connection, family situation. Um, could be involving just happiness here because we have the Nine of Cups to the Ten of Cups. So let's see what's going on. Wheel of Fortune, wow. Some changes coming in for you, Capricorn. Uh, we do the Five of Pentacles here in your past, past, present, future, um, and then your surrounding center, and then the surrounding energies here. So let's see. We have the Nine of Wands. One more card. The Six of Cups. Scorpio energy. We also have the Knight of Wands here. I mean, there is something to do with communication here for it, some of you guys here. So there could be a connection that you're dealing with, but it does feel though, it's a future energy here. So there's something here about a soulmate connection. For some of you guys, you do have a new connection in your energy. For others of you, I do feel like there's communication from the past. And why I say that is we are going into retrograde. There's going to be a lot of communication of maybe someone that you used to be with here for a long time. Um, this could be a marriage. This could be just a long-term connection that you really you know about here. It's a soulmate type of connection, okay? Now, with we start off the read here. We have the center of the Ten of Cups. So again, this is about family, uh, about your happiness here, um, and the surrounding energies here. If you look at the past, we have the Eight of Wands, the Nine of Cups, and the Two of Pentacles. So... A lot of you guys had been in this energy of trying to make some sort of change. Um, you know, there's some sort of transition here um, to maybe shift your energy into something else. Maybe you're focusing on something else here, okay? Um, for others of you, I do see the Nine of Cups being, um, you know, a little bit about your focusing on yourself, your own emotions here is really what's going on. We're going to have to see what this Two of Pentacles is about because a lot of you guys are coming out of some juggling. So I don't know if there's financially something you've been working on or something here that uh, you just kind of been back and forth at. So we're going to look at that. Um, now with the Ten of Pentacles or the Ten of uh, Cups here, with the Hermit Wheel of Fortune, the Two of Pentacles, there is something that's going to come in the future here where you're going to have to make some sort of decision. Okay. Um, the present energy, we have the two of pentacles. There's something here that you're going back and forth, like I was saying, but there is something that shifts. It kind of puts you in this hermit energy. So look out for that. This could be involving work, um, or career here for you. Um, we do see the nine of wands with the six of cups and the wheel of fortune. So there is a soulmate connection here that, um, with the nine of wands though, it doesn't feel like you trust it so much here. So if it is a past connection, I don't feel like you trust that so much. You may listen to what it is, but I don't see you moving along with that. I do feel as though there's a soulmate or someone new that is coming into your picture here where you are going to look into it, but you do have your boundaries up here. There's a sense of, um, you know, not letting you, you know, not opening up so easy to this new connection. So we're going to have to see who that's, who that is. Um, we have the Nine of Cups, the Five of Pentacles, and the Nine of Wands here. So there is a history of you, you know, going through something to where, you know, you felt left out in the cold. A lot of you guys could have just moved from a location, uh, maybe started something new in a different environment, uh, maybe even left a family home situation here. Um, but you also are coming from an energy of not having support or feeling as though you are alone or at least going through this alone here. So there is a shift. I mean, a lot of past energy of working on yourself, you know, with the Nine of Cups. You know, I do see the Nine of Cups, the Ten of Cups, and the Wheel of Fortune. So there is some nice shift here happening for you. And then we do have, you know, the Eight of Wands, the Two of Pentacles, and Hermit. So there's also communication that comes in that, um, you know, puts you in an energy of um, trying to make the right decision. I'm not trying to say the Hermit is, you know, it is a card of going within and taking time out and thinking something through. But I feel as though there's communication here that... Um, 
that is it's requiring you to look at something a little bit deeper here okay so let's see what is this six of cups let's get right to that because we see the eight of wands the ten of cups and the six of cups here so you can see communication regarding a you know family situation relationship of that okay so let's see what is this six of cups here for capricorn we have the two of cups so we know it's a connection so does somebody want a new connection here or is this someone a new let's see what's going on give me one more card we have the three of swords so it is someone from the past all right guys so we have someone here that you've been dealing with or have dealt with in the past here that is coming back around um For some of you guys, not everyone, there is someone here that is coming, kind of coming towards you here, but it, it, it's more of a heart, you know, they're very disappointed something didn't work out. I don't know if they're waiting for you to contact them. It's kind of weird. This energy is kind of like you are waiting, they were waiting for you to contact them and you were waiting for them to contact you, okay? One of those things here. Um, with the Three of Swords, though, it does feel, though, this person is... Um, yeah, they are missing you. It does feel like a heartbreak, but there's also something about, um, yeah, just regret. Just kind of like disappointed that something didn't work out here. Um, let me see this uh, Nine of Wands then. The Hierophant. I don't know. It could be a lot of you guys. This was a really long connection that you were in. Um, for some of you guys, maybe it was marriage or maybe it was something to where, um, you know, you thought of it or there's discussion of, of you know, further, um, you know, going to the next level basically there was discussions there again this is heavy commitment type of energy here i feel like someone is you know there's an, I, I did feel like a new connection but it does feel like just someone needs to come in communicate they're speaking truths again this could be you towards someone but someone from the past is coming back here capricorn wanting some sort of new start here um what is the intentions then for that so we can get done with this uh connection for you i feel like there's something to do with work as well so i want to get to that too what's the intentions give me one card on the intentions for capricorn of this past connection here we have the lovers wow so wow somebody is uh wanting to come back around here capricorn i mean you know it's not going to be for everyone here because maybe some of you guys have kind of ended this connection, don't really want to deal with it. But um, it's coming out in the reading that someone does want to come back around, really reestablish this connection, or at least see if they can mend something here. Um, if it doesn't pursue into something in a relationship, or maybe you're not even thinking and wanting that, um, just know that this person's coming with good intentions, okay? Um, there's nothing bad here. We have the lovers, we have the three of swords, the two of cups with the six of cups. So it's a very strong soulmate connection. Um, very deep connection here. This person is very, you know, deeply emotionally connected to you, um, has a lot of love for you. So I'm not saying that that's the communication that's coming in. They are coming in to you wanting to discuss and maybe just kind of accept things for what they are, or just kind of work something out. So some of you guys may work it out. Some of you guys might just let bygones be bygones and then move forward here. Okay. So that's kind of what I'm seeing in your love life here, Capricorn. Let me see the hermit. Why is the hermit there? We have the Three of Cups. I mean, it could be, um, like I said, you know, sometimes, you know, there could be a communication that comes in um, because we have the Five of Pentacles, the Ten of Cups, the Hermit. And so this is a connection that you have not been in touch with for quite some time. Uh, somebody blocked somebody. There's a situation here that has been ghosted or something like that. But there's a reunion. I mean, it's really, as you see, I can look at it this way, look at it that way. There's a reunion here with the connection, okay? What is this Two of Pentacles here? What is this Two of Pentacles? We have the Seven of Wands. Some of you guys may not want this. You may, you may feel like you don't want it yet. I mean, because the present energy here is like, really deflecting it off here but i feel like it's it's not really a, an energy of like coming in trying to get what they want it's like you know at the end of the day it just feels like something closes out which just feels good for you and i feel like that's when the wheel of fortune kicks in because again nine of cups working on yourself your wish wish fulfillments your dreams realizing what you have around you having gratitude moving towards your ten of cups your own happiness your own definition of ten of cups here 
And then you have the Wheel of Fortune. There's luck changing on your side here. Okay. Um, what is this Wheel of Fortune then? We have the Four of Pentacles. So there could be something here in regards to your finances that kind of changes here. Um, for some of you guys, you could be, you know, working. There's someone that's working on something already, but... Um, you know, there's there's something with your finances that changes. So maybe you guys have a, um, you know, a business or something like that, or maybe just working, you know, really hard at something. Um, it feels as though you've been kind of keeping to yourself on an idea, or maybe you're waiting for something to really like shift in your favor. It's saying here that something is going to shift financially for you. So there is going to be an opportunity or something here that comes towards you here. Okay. For others of you, I just feel like this reading is a lot about revisiting something. I mean, the Eight of Cups, I'm intuitively reading here. So it is a it is a card of uh, moving away or traveling, okay? So some of you guys could find an opportunity where you are traveling towards a different direction, maybe just traveling more for work. It could be something like that. For others of you, it's like revisiting a situation. So it's like coming back around here. It feels like unfinished business that's there for you, all right, Capricorn? Let me get three more cards. Is there anything financially for Capricorn we can talk about? Anything financially? We have the Five of Cups, the Four of Cups, and the Knight of Wands. So, you know, when I see those cards coming out here, I do, I do feel like you guys have been really working hard at something. And at some point, I don't know if this is now or in the future, you'll be feeling as though you put a lot of effort into something and you feel like you're not getting the results that you're looking for, okay? A lot of you guys have been trying to do something on the side or maybe it's a hobby or something here that you've been trying to get off the ground. Um, but it's saying here to, you know, continue what you're doing. There's a sense of, um, you know, putting a lot of energy into it, but also finding a balance of, you know, what to do with this. You know, are you really putting the energy where it's supposed to be? You know, are you putting, basically what I'm trying to say is, are you wasting time in certain situations where you're not seeing that much result? Um, you know, it's, it's time to evaluate a little bit of what you're doing and where you're putting your time is what I'm seeing here with the Five of Cups, the Four of Cups, and the Knight of Wands. So it's saying to approach it a little bit differently. Ha take some time out for yourself here as well. Have some sort of balance. You know, I am seeing that as well. So it's like because we have the Nine of Cups, the Ten of Cups, so it's a lot about your emotions, and, and try not to get burnt out here, but you're going to come up a feeling of like, I put a lot into this, but I'm not seeing the outcome, should I give up on this, right? It's saying here, do not uh, do not give up here. Wheel of Fortune is coming around, and it's going to give you that spark again. There's some sort of luck coming towards you um, when you least suspect it. It's like when you, when you have that feeling of like, something's not working out, and you just want to give up, it's just that moment, something shifts here for you puts you in that six of wands energy where you feel very um, successful, victorious into something. All right, Capricorn. So that is what I'm seeing here. You guys see this kind of ended up being more of a connection here that you have to kind of, uh, well, not have to, you have free will here to do whatever you want to do. But I just see there's no way around it. There's a, there's a connection here that is coming back around to you that, um, that a discussion is needed here. Okay. So some of you guys, I do see you moving forward with it. For others of you, I just feel like, you know, you don't really trust the situation, but it just feels like, you know, just unfinished business, letting bygones be bygones and moving forward here because the Seven of Wands tells me, you know, you're in this indecision about this reunion, but it's a very close connection. Whoever this resonates for, you know who this person is, okay? But you are choosing some sort of wish fulfillment and something moves financially, Financially, things are changing for you, okay? That's all I am seeing in this spread. I'm trying to see if there's anything else. It just goes back on, um, you know, just, just be mindful where you're investing your energy into. So, you know, if you feel like something's stuck, you feel like something's not working out here, um, you know, try to analyze what you're, what you're working on and what, you know, maybe there's something about change. Maybe you need to change something you've been approaching in a different manner as well, okay? Maybe that's something as well, but with the Wheel of Fortune here, it just says keep doing what you're doing. Luck is going to shift in here for you. Again, put you, putting you in that Six of Wands energy, all right? So that is what I got for you, Capricorn. If this did resonate for anyone, please do hit that like button. If this helped you in any way, hit that like button. And uh, until next time, we'll see you. You guys have a good one.